uh, working as an uh, uh, senior architect in one of the company in Hyderabad. Uh, we are having a company here, so where we will uh, do the projects and uh, uh, trainings as well to the abroad people and uh, uh, majorly in US and Canada and also Indian people as well, online and offline trainings. Okay, so that is pretty much about myself. Yeah, thank you all for joining to the session. Yeah, so let me start with what is Cypress. I don't want to waste any time now. So let me continue with, uh, try to learn some of the things in Cypress. Mm -hmm. How the tool is, why the tool is popular and... Uh, Himasri, could you please mute it, madam? Okay, thank you. So let me try to learn what is Cypress and why it is demanding nowadays. Um, what is the reason behind it? Why the people are uh, migrating to the Cypress from Selenium? And uh, even though other competitive tools, so many are there and why Cypress is playing major role nowadays and day by day, why the demand for this tool is increasing. So those are all things let me try to learn. Okay, first let me explain you what are all the different things we have in uh, uh, Cypress, okay. So I, I hope you are having some of them or most of them are having uh, some knowledge on uh, Selenium, right? But the problem with Selenium is it is, can everybody able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, perfect. sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So uh, the coming to the Selenium, any language, whatever it is. So it is supporting Selenium, supporting different languages, right? Java, .NET, Python, and all. But the problem with the Selenium is everything you need to configure. Like you need to add your test ng scripts, or you need to configure to the Maven, or you need to integrate with Jenkins. Okay, so in the additional server is required to integrate with Jenkins, and that too Selenium is not going to support the React JS and Angular JS applications. Or might be you can ask any development any developer or any of your friend is working on development team nowadays most of the applications are developing in react and angular that they are calling it as a full stack so if application is developing in Re angular or react so selenium is doesn't have any capability to support angular and react js applications okay so yeah so then you can ask me like why selenium is popular yes it is popular so far because of it is supporting all the types of web applications. But now the slowly the trending changing to the Angular and React, but till now from past four or five years, Angular and React is playing major role for the web applications uh, development. But still we did not get yet any update from the Selenium side support to these type of applications. So that is the reason the other tools enter into the market. So like Protractor or WebDriver IO, or Cypress, Playwright, so many tools. Nowadays, those are all getting little popular because of the disadvantages or drawbacks in the Selenium tool. Okay, if Selenium would have given the support for these type of applications, I don't think um, the people might not move to the other tools because Selenium is very flexible. Who knows any language they can develop the automation scripts. So we no need to depend on um, one particular language and all. Even with Cypress also, it is supporting only JavaScript. None of the other languages it is supporting. So if you want to go with Cypress, everybody has to learn JavaScript. If somebody doesn't know it, again, you want to use Cypress tool, he has to learn JavaScript. Because none of the other languages it is supporting, like not, not like Selenium. Selenium supports almost all the languages as we know. So, and other few advantages are there with Cypress. I will explain you now what are all the advantages with Cypress. So far, we have seen Selenium and uh, drawbacks of the Selenium and all. But coming to the Cypress, where we can see we are having uh, very easy to use. Uh, if somebody are uh, unmuted, can you please mute it if you don't mind? OK, thank you. So coming to the Cypress features, it is very e easy to use. OK and uh, everybody can operate on this uh, Cypress tool. Uh, everybody easily can understand apart from the JavaScript part. Even JavaScript also, we don't need 100% like how the uh, developers are using. Uh, like we are the people like how Selenium Java we are using similar way here, but most of the comments, uh, I mean, uh, commands in the Cypress are inbuilt. 
given by the Cypress tool. Okay, so very less part we are using for the uh, JavaScript side in Cypress. Okay, and and fast execution because Selenium tool it doesn't work directly on the browser. There is a middleware will be there. Okay, so through middleware through REST API the commands are triggering to the browser. But whereas coming to the Cypress the commands are directly working inside of the browser. Okay. So that is the reason. So little faster will be there when compared to other tools. And also it makes us to get the, uh, for each and every operation, we can able to see the request and response. Okay. Um, so by using, you want to manipulate that request and response. Yes, you can do that. Okay. That is the another advantage of using Cypress. Okay. Since it is working in the browser, so you can uh, read it out. What is the request and response we are triggering to the browser? Yeah. So, and uh, reloading and all. See, uh, since it is working, as I said, in the, directly in the browser, so uh, it is kind of a real-time uh, kind of testing. We may get it uh, by using Cypress because instead of um, hitting the commands from outside like in Selenium. And also automatic waiting will be there, like fourth point I'm talking about. See, synchronization, where in Selenium we have used thread sleep or uh, implicit wait or explicit wait or fluent wait kind of thing. But whereas in Cypress, we don't have, we have the wait, okay? So, but we don't need that most of the times because it will uh, automatically understands where the application is. If it is in loading stage, automatically Cypress will wait there. It will not able to continue, okay? So that is the best feature they are giving. And time travel debugging, yes. So time travel uh, debugging in this sense, you can able to debug like how we are doing in Eclipse tool uh, statement by statement um, where we can see what is happening in the previous statement what are all the outputs are there in previous and those all outputs we can rendering it to the immediate next statements executions and all same kind of way here also it is supporting uh, but with those um, in the debugging you can able to see the request and responses also as I told you like uh, each operation whatever we are doing we can in the network tab how we are uh, seeing in the console similar way we can able to see the request and responses. Okay, so that is the additional advantage with Cypress. Yeah, so uh, since it is directly working on the browser, so we will get consistent and reliable um, test results at the end of the execution. Okay, and see, as we know, uh, in the Selenium uh, tool, we are using the Eclipse for the IDE, but we don't have any separate test runner for it. Okay, so if you want to run it, we need to run either testng.xml or we need to run either pom.xml or we need to integrate it with uh, Jenkins and we need to run from there. But whereas here, uh, Cypress is providing inbuilt test runner where you can uh, configure like what tests you want to run, what you don't want to run, okay? So that is the additional feature they are giving to give flexibility to the uh, automation engineers. Uh, hello, um, somebody is unmuted. Uh, Neha, can you please mute everyone? Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you. So, and uh, coming to the extensive documentation and community support, yes, not like Selenium. Selenium is very popular, which is there from uh, in the year of 2006, but it is recently came from past few years, but uh, documentation wise, yes, I agree. Like um, uh, they, are, they documented very well each and everything. So you can see, I, I'm going to show you the documentation page as well. And community support, yes, is Stack Overflow or some other websites. Yes, most of the, um challenges which you are getting you may get the answers over there and i think in the documentation most of them will is covered you will get everything over there and even community support also is there yeah and cross browser testing yes so but little challenge is there like it is supporting only few of the browsers so far like uh, chrome browser edge browser and they are having one internal browser uh, as well um, and IE browser it is supporting and not other browsers uh, it is supporting. Uh, so far, they're working on it as an enhancement. And headless testing, yes, we, we do have this feature even in Selenium, so we can uh, do the headless as well. But here also they're providing feature like headless, we can execute all these scripts. Like as I told you, 11th point, like network and API testing, which is more talking about, um, yeah, as I told you, right? So we can able to read the request and response from the browser. Yeah, that way, so you can you can manipulate the data in the request and accordingly you can expect the output in the response. That is how you can play with request and response without need of any other tool like Postman and all, okay? Usually we are doing 
uh, API through uh, Postman. Yes, uh, Postman is also a popular tool, but same kind of thing you can do with Cypress as well by manipulating the data or by updating data in your request and trying to hit from the uh, browser. Uh, you can able to see how it is happening and all. Yeah. So because uh, Cypress is um, supports API testing also very well. Yeah, almost all the uh, different type of requests you can process it and uh, different protocols like HTTP and other gRPC and other protocols. Yeah, so coming to the 12th one, continuous integration. Yes, uh, this is also important feature they're giving like, it is continuous integration is you no need to configure much. They're giving inbuilt all these things. Anyway, I'm going to show you in our session how you need to integrate it with uh, 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 other tools like uh, Jenkins or other tools and all. So, these are all the few advantages and I did not mention about Angular and React. Yes, that is also one of the advantages. It is supporting Angular and React JS applications, which is not supported by the Selenium. Okay, so because of all these advantages, uh, the people are slowly migrating to the uh, Cypress. Who knows JavaScript, most of them? So yeah, so JavaScript, see, somebody knows Java and uh, you don't want to go to JavaScript and all, then the different tools they are choosing for the Angular and uh, uh, React JS applications. Okay, so this is brief about the Cypress tool. So far, any questions from anyone? Okay, fine. Thank you. Any questions? You can put it into a chat box. Yeah, I, I will look into that. Hi, 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 sir. This is Sudarshan. Yeah, Sudarshan. Sir, Cypress directly API testing, no more need any like a Selenium with the uh, Postman tool. This kind of tool not needed. Even Selenium also doesn't support APIs. Selenium is mainly for the front end automation, right? Selenium supports okay. only front end automation. You cannot do the automation. I mean, API using Selenium. Again, you need to go with, you want to go with Java, you can do with uh, REST Assured. Or you want to go with Python, you can do with the requests module in PyTest. So yeah, Selenium is only for front-end automation. So it, it is not going to support anything else in, in the uh, part of API. Okay, Cypress uh, directly tested to API testing. Yeah, so directly, I think. correct, correct. I agree with you, right. Cypress directly supports API testing too. Are you clear? Okay. A any other questions from anyone? Okay, perfect. So you can put it in the chat box. Uh, I will look into that. Fine. So let me continue with the uh, other things. Like these are all the uh, briefly, what are all the uh, features we have over there and all? Like, so. Like Selenium, we will use IDE as Eclipse, but most of the people with Cypress, uh, it is supporting different uh, IDEs, but most of the people are using uh, uh, Visual uh, Studio Code. Uh, this is the tool actually. Okay, let me change the background. Uh, it is completely showing as uh, uh, black color. Okay, let me change it. Yeah, so very easy with the Cypress because you we no need to install much and all automatically plugins will be there how we will use um, the plugins and all so that way we are going to get um, okay somewhere uh, we can change One minute, guys. Let me make uh, our background to white so that. Okay, that's fine. I'm not finding. No, actually, we have um, somewhere actually. Okay, that's fine. If you all are comfortable, that is okay. Mm. Um, that's fine. 
So this is the Visual Studio Code actually. Okay, and this is the one where we're going to use the uh, IDE for Cypress. But you may ask a question: Where is the runner and where is the dashboard? And and also one more advantage I forgot to tell you. Uh, whereas we don't have, uh, we have to write separate code for recording the videos uh, for each and every execution. And we have to take explicitly the screenshots uh, when there is a failure, you guys know, right? In Selenium, we will use listeners for taking the screenshots in, uh, by using test ng. Similar way, whereas Cypress, we don't need to write an ex explicit code. If something is failing, automatically Cypress will take the screenshots. For each and every test case, it, it will maintain the records also. Video recording, it will maintain, okay? That is also another additional advantage by using Cypress. See, in, in our usually, uh, in our project and all, there will be a product managers will be there, our product director will be there. So they want to see how the um, scripts are working, okay? So we need to write explicit code that is going to store in your machine where you may have a chance to manipulate those videos as well. But if there is a centralized storage where we can maintain all our recordings, then everybody can able to access, then that is the additional advantage to the our management also, right? So that is the another advantage with the Cypress where Cypress is having capability to record our executions and uh, it, it is going to show us the screenshots when there is a failure. Okay, I'm going to show you all this stuff uh, end of the session today. Right, so these are all the few advantages uh, with the Cypress as well, where in the, from the management side, they, they want to see how the executions are happening, why the scripts are failing, why the scripts are uh, having more, <clears throat> more errors and all. Um, they want to see them. They can directly log in into the Cypress dashboard. I'm going to tell you next what are the components in Cypress. Uh, Cypress dashboard, they can see uh, how many times we executed our scripts and each uh, run how many scripts are passed, how many scripts are failed, all these stuff you can able to see in the Cypress dashboard, okay? So that it really helps to the management also. Now the question is, is Cypress is open source? Yes, Cypress tool is open source, but Cypress dashboard is licensed, okay? So some of the features in Cypress dashboard, they make it uh, premium. So if you want to use those features, you need to take the license. But actually, Cypress tool is open source. Anybody can download and anybody can use it. We don't need to pay anything. But whereas come to the Cypress dashboard, as I told you, right? Recordings and uh, screenshots, these kind of stuff you want to, or you want to work with some other uh, CLI tools, or you want to integrate with some other uh, CACD tools, then, yes, then you need to go for upgrade your uh, plan to business plan, okay? Fine. So now, now coming to the, yeah, this I will take you later and coming to the different components in Selenium before going to start with the practical part. Uh, Cypress components, Cypress components includes test runner will be there, which is going to enable us to uh, what test cases you want to run and what test cases you can on and off, you can do it. And Cypress server will be there where it is uh, completely on the node based. Okay. So we need Node.js because Cypress is um, completely working on the node basis only. Yeah, so and Cypress front end also will be there. No, we no need to depend on for the executions only on IDE like Visual Studio. Or uh, it is having its own front end uh, to execute our scripts or uh, to check our results and uh, video screenshots as I told you. Okay, Cypress is having its own commands will be there. So its own uh, implemented commands by using Cypress. Uh, yeah, it is not related to any JavaScript and Cypress is developed uh, their own commands. Cypress is using their own commands. And by using those commands, yes, we can uh, use it in Cypress. And spec files will be there usually. These spec files, I'm going to show you how it is. And fixtures is the component in Cypress. It is used for uh, uh, managing the test data part, like how we are maintaining our test data in the Excel sheets and all. Like uh, similar ways, you know, in the Selenium, we have properties files. Similar way, fixtures is going to help us to uh, maintain our test data, uh, which is required for all the test cases. And, and different custom plugins will be there. So where uh, these are all the plugins really helpful for us um, uh, uh, to work on our Cypress part and all, okay? And coming to the installation part, you don't need much for the Cypress. You need Node.js where you can download Node.js from the Node site. You can directly come here and you can directly enter here in Google, download Node. Uh, you're going to get 
the first website see from here you can download your node if you if at all you want to go for windows or mac or um, uh, linux also i think it it will support or uh, see here linux also it is supporting uh, yeah so based on that you can download and first you need to install this the node part and then you need to download the visual studio this is the ide okay visual studio code where visual studio code also you can download from internet it is also a open source yeah visual studio code here uh, download option is there you can come here and download directly uh, visual studio here that is installation you want to get are 64 bit or 32 bit you can download accordingly okay and install cypress and all these are all the plugins in node module okay so you no need to install separately outside of the your machine and you're going to install everything as a node plugin okay so this is how you can configure um, your cypress i'm not going to show much on installation part and all i think you may get so many things uh, for the installations part uh, even in uh, google and youtube i'm not focusing much on installation just i'm giving you high level overview on how you can do these things um what are all the different softwares is required for us and all. except this nothing much node.js and visual studio code apart from that you don't need nothing much okay um yeah so and commands and all i will tell you so you can see the, this code snippet how it will be there in normally the coding under before going to the visual studio so generally some framework we have to use uh, in cypress either mocha or jasmine different frameworks will be supported okay cypress supports different frameworks you can check it out here cypress uh, supports framework but famous is um, either mocha or uh, jasmine we are going to use um, but coming to the framework side and all different frameworks yeah, it is going to support see as i told you uh, it is going to support react and angular also you can see here um you can see here uh, it is going to support mocha and jasmine and other frameworks also but famous is uh, jasmine usually we will use because these frameworks we are using only for the assertions and validations and you can see here this is the snippet for any test case usually we will follow okay so it starts with describe and you can give what is our test case here okay and describe and it are the syntaxes uh, in the framework either mocha or jasmine same syntax will be there but validation assertions part little different will be there when compared to that um so and cy is the cypress object in in selenium and all we used to create web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and all here we no need to create that way by default cy is the object uh, it contains the cypress okay visit where there we are using the uh, get method to open but here a uh, visit method will be there so where you can provide your url it is going to open it and a similar way constants you can store this way and get see and, and also one more thing selenium supports almost all the locators like id name um xpath css okay uh, and all but whereas in cypress it is supports only css apart from css no other locator it is going to support okay so only css uh, locator only supported by the cypress okay no xpath no id and all so you need to remember this so anyway we are working uh, most of them are having some idea on selenium how the css will work same syntax here we need to use okay fine and any object you want to work with okay first you need to take the css for it and cy is the as i told you object uh, for the cypress and get is the method you need to use to get your particular element this is the css on top of it you can write type method or click method or set method whatever it is okay so like this is how general syntax will be there to work with any control first you need to write this cy uh, dot cy as i told you it is predefined in the cypress framework you don't need to create separately uh, by default the code uh, will understand cy is the object for cypress or your browser uh, and get is the method we need to use to get that particular element on top of it you can perform whatever the operation you want okay so that way it will be there or you want to assert something this is how you need to assert okay you are getting the element and you are trying to get the have that text means what text is there in this particular element you are comparing that text with this if these two are matching then only this assertion will get passed otherwise your test case will get fail okay so this is how it will be there uh, this is the general snippet how we will use in cypress 
Okay, if you understand this, you can able to write code for anything. Okay, so I'm giving the guarantee to you. Like few other methods you need to know, like instead of type, you might use other methods. Uh, instead of this, you might use other methods. Okay, so that is only the those methods you need to know. And uh, assertions also, like this is how uh, you can do it. Um, yeah, this is the snippet how we can write the test cases in the format either by using Mocha or Jasmine framework. Okay, so these two are the, as I told you, famous frameworks where we have uh, where we have with the uh, Cypress part. Okay, and the rest of the code, everything is in uh, Cypress inbuilt commands will be there. We are going to use those commands. Okay, come back here. So this is the as it. Um, Visual Studio code where we are using this uh, tool only for writing the code. Apart from that, nothing much we are doing here. Okay, this is the editor only we are going to use for writing our code. You can see the snippet, what just, just now I showed you. Similar way it will be there, you can open any test case. Okay, so here you can see it will be there. It is going to talk about, okay, your test case and you're going to write cy.get. Um, uh, this is about the particular um, CSS and you're going to type it. I'm not going through the what test cases I'm running and all, but just I want to give you some knowledge on how we can write. Okay, that is what my overall idea is. Uh, anyway, this framework I uploaded to the um, my GitHub. You can uh, download from there. Um, but these are all the test case sample test cases I have taken uh, from the Cypress only. Okay. I haven't written nothing much new test cases and all apart from only one. Um, yeah, just uh, go through this content easily. You can understand what is happening and all. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what is happening and all. Like wherever you go, like same thing will be there. CY.get and you get your control. Top of it, you can perform your operation. See here, type operation is happening. And uh, this should, uh, you're going to validate this part, whether it is same or not. If it is same, the test will pass. Otherwise, it is going to fail. <clears throat> okay, coming to the framework side. Okay, like this way, you can write a number of tests, but it should end with JS. JS means JavaScript. Okay, so dot .cy .js. This is the syntax we used to maintain for writing it. Okay, but how we need to create this structure and all. Very simple. Okay, for creating this structure, let me show you a few commands. Very few commands you can open uh, in the command prompt, new terminal. Here are few commands you need to execute. Uh, to create this particular structure and all, okay? So nothing much. First, you need to create a, your package.json file. And uh, uh, I mean, if you're having idea on uh, Maven form.xml, guys, you can speak out, no issues. How many are having yeah. idea on uh, form.xml? I have idea. Okay, perfect, so that's fine. I don't Anybody? have, sir. Oh, you mystery, you don't have? Okay, perfect. Uh, no problem. Uh, anybody else? Rohit, or yes, Kaushal, Malavi. Uh, who is that? Yeah, Siva, sir. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Siva Sankar. Fine. So, uh, form.xml in the Selenium, usually what is the role of it is like, um, uh, it is used for maintaining all the dependencies where we are. Sorry? Yeah, so when I... I was saying that we have to create dependencies in form. Correct. Perfect. Yes, Suganya. Uh, Correct. So, in the similar way, okay, in the similar way, how we are doing in the form.xml, different dependencies we're going to give, like um, Apache Boy libraries for the Excel part, Selenium libraries, okay, test engine related uh, uh, library and dependency, its versions and all. Same role it is going to play in Cypress by using package.json file, okay? This is the file is going to play same role how the form.xml is playing. And we are going to give here, okay? So what is the version you want to use it and all here? Not only this one, different other plugins required like how you want to work with Excel, some other plugins are required. You want to work, work with uh, Word files, some other plugin is required here. Okay, whatever you want to work with, but related to controls and all, you don't need any other plugins apart from Cypress. But uh, Apart from the controls on your application, any other thing you want to, for example, you want to connect to the database and validate something. Yes, you need to add here corresponding plugin, which database you are using and all. Okay, so package.json file is going to work as a uh, dependencies management and all. Okay, that is the main use of uh, package.json file. Perfect. 
and uh, this node modules and all it talks about what are all the dependencies required for us and all okay so anyway i'm going to share this documentation you can go through it so the node modules containing okay node modules contains all the dependencies are related uh, libraries required for us the cypress it is containing the actual our test uh, test cases or test scripts it is containing okay this is examples folder i showed you right it is containing our test scripts it is our test scripts and yeah so i told you like um, in the cypress where we have fixers also i told you right uh, fixers containing uh, test data see this is the data you may need it or another fixer is there it is containing some data so fixers are mostly nothing but test data you are going to maintain anything you may think that static data and all you can put it over here and you can use this data wherever you need in your test scripts okay so you may have the cypress um uh, inside of cypress you can create n number of folders and you can maintain different different test cases this is end to end where you can maintain integration also you can maintain your regression test cases also okay so this is for storing the screenshots and this is for video city storing and integration also i have created one more module and but i did not kept anything here like this way you can segregate your test scripts into different folders okay so these are all automatically created by the cypress apart from the package.json okay so whenever you want to install something just you can come here and the npm uh, npm means it is a node command okay npm install you can give whatever you want for example jasmine you want to install and it is going to install jasmine for you oh one more uh, i forgot to give here um okay so let it continue so <clears throat> if once you install your node module in your machine so automatically yes uh, your jasmine is installed successfully but one command i for see you can you can see here dependencies earlier jasmine is not there now it is added once you install any node command from your terminal automatically it will add in the pom.xml and all we are adding manually but whereas here from the node you are installing something required for your project then automatically it is going to add it to this package.json so tomorrow version is changed you can directly come here and you can update your version here automatically it is going to take the latest version you no need to do anything else or npm also command will be there to update automatically it will get updated so this way okay this is more of a cypress uh, configurations uh, where your uh, js files are there javascript files are there so that configuration we need to provide into this folder cypress.config.js and this project id i have added manually i will tell you later okay this is required uh, to run from the cypress dashboard okay this yeah project id we have to take it from the dashboard and we need to add it here then only this project will be integrated with the dashboard okay dashboard is nothing but where you can see all your uh, uh, screenshots and videos and all perfect or you want to push your code into the github bundle very simple uh, just you need to um, open your uh, settings and just uh, yeah so the first option you can see here you enter this project you want to push it to github uh, publish to github option will be there where this project already i pushed uh, let me show you that uh, see in this github this is my account actually i already pushed um, cypress related uh, the same project i already pushed it uh, see here okay by using that option see this is what i pushed whatever is there in my visual studio i pushed to here um yeah so this is by using this option you can push it either as a private repository or public repository so this is how the things will be there uh, from the development perspective only the thing you need to add in the cypress from now is you need to create a folder write your test scripts that's it that is what you need to do according to your test case you need to write your script or any other plugin is required come to the uh, npm module terminal you can install that automatically it will get added to the package.json and you can export this project and give it to your colleague or somebody anyway it is there in github uh, give that github link to them just they, they need to download and they have to open it in uh, uh, their visual studio automatically all these softwares will be installed i mean all these plugins will be installed even uh, his machine also whenever you install these plugins what happen you know uh, these all plugins will be there in the node modules i told you right here 
you can see here uh, you can find uh, the cypress and uh, jasmine you can find here somewhere see you can able to see cypress here and jasmine also will get you will find here somewhere um, just now we installed jasmine right uh, earlier it was not there now it will be there see jasmine also is there see okay so whatever you installed it is going to store it into this node modules if somebody is imported this into their machine then automatically these own node modules also imported they no need to install separately anything okay so this is about the cypress how we will develop and how what is the important of different uh, components here and all okay any doubts so far before going to the um, test runner and um, uh, cypress dashboard how it will work and all any other questions from anyone So why we need to use Jasmine framework? No, Jasmine is mainly for the uh, validations part. Okay, uh, but see, let me show you uh, the Cypress. Uh, these are all they are there, right? These are all the given by yeah validations. Whatever you are doing uh, should be visible and all. These are given by the Cypress actually, but these are all very limited. Only you can use should and you can match it and that kind of things only you can do here. But apart from that, you need to check is equal, is not equal, is less than that, is more than that. These kind of assertions also you want to do it. That is Cypress internal command will not support those all. That is the reason we are using some other framework like either Mocha or uh, Jasmine, especially for the uh, this assertions part, Suganya. Okay. okay. Yeah, that is the main use of uh, this framework. May apart, yeah. May I know the uh, which one, which framework is suitable means Jasmine or Mocha? No, both are uh, mostly the people are using nowadays. But I can say uh, uh, more than Mocha, the people are mostly using Jasmine. But any of the framework only the difference is as I told you, Cypress commands are same. It is not going to change anything. Only the changing part is assertions part. This part only going to change. Those framework mostly. Support us. We are using in Cypress only for the assertions. That's it. Apart from that, nothing much we are using. Either you can use Mocha or whatever it is, but framework is same. Uh, not like Selenium test engine framework, Cucumber framework we have, right? Not like here. Okay, frameworks are mainly we are using for the assertions part. But coming to the commands and everything, it is pretty much same with any framework. You can use Mocha or Jasmine, whatever it is, these commands are not going to change. Uh, which one is better uh, in those two? No, because based on the requirement, based on the validation, I mean, based on the assertions, what they want to do, each one is having different type of assertions. Depends on their requirement, they can use either Mocha or Jasmine. But I can say people are mostly using Jasmine than Mocha, but depends on their requirement, they can use it. Depends on the type of assertions, what they want to do. So one more question. Yep. Uh, should, should I learn both Selenium and uh, Cypress or any one tool is enough uh, to become an automation tester? You want to become an automation tester, any one is fine. But you want to survive in the industry for many years, you need to learn many tools. So does it, uh, Selenium support an end-to-end -end testing? Yes, yes. Selenium supports end-to-end -end testing. Yes. Okay. Only front-end testing it is supporting that you need to understand. Okay. Whatever the application is having, UI, okay, front-end, those applications mm -hmm. on Selenium is support. Okay, Cypress, we can do API testing as well. API testing also, correct. Okay, sir. But with Selenium, you cannot do API, but you need to go with, a, again, another uh, framework called REST Assure. You can do that by using Selenium. Uh, sorry, so without Selenium, you can do by using REST Assure for API. Okay, I have to use REST Assured for uh, API. API, correct, correct, by using Java. Okay, sir. Yep, okay, fine. So let me come back. Any other questions before moving to the... Um... Yeah, Sudarshan, you were asking something. Sir, sir uh -huh. Cypress only JavaScript need any other languages also? No, like no. Selenium no. with Python, Selenium with Java, Core Java, Selenium with C sharp. This kind of need only uh javascript say press only are you understanding yeah. my doubt 
correct, correct, Sudarshan. Actually, uh, uh, Cypress supports only JavaScript, no other languages. No other languages okay. Cypress is supporting. It supports only JavaScript. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, fine. So let me continue with the advanced stuff. So far we have seen like uh, how it is working with the, um, I mean, uh, Visual Studio code and how the code and all, and uh, what are the different components in the uh, Cypress framework? What is the importance of it we have seen? And uh, now we are going to the, how the test runner we need to open and uh, uh, how the Cypress dashboard things will be there, how we can integrate with uh, uh, continuous integration part and all. Let me see those stuff, okay? Fine, so everything is from the terminal only here. Uh, you can open any terminal, okay? How you can open terminal is like go to terminal and open new terminal here. It is going to open, perfect. So you want to open the <coughs> runner. Already I have given commands here. Let me open that. So these are all the few frequently used commands. So I have marked here. Anyway, I'm going to share this document later to you. If anybody is not filled or not given your mobile number and name, please mention it in the comments uh, so that I will share these documents with you guys. Okay. Uh, please put in the comments. Um, if, if anybody not updated, please put in, in the comments your name and your mobile number uh, so that it will help. I'm going to share you uh, these documents and all with you or uh, my team has uh, updated like uh, one WhatsApp group, or at least you can join to that group. I'm going to share these documents with you guys. Okay, anything is fine. Hello. Uh, somebody is asking, yeah. Yeah, that uh, group is not uh, shown, sir. That shown that uh, group is not exist. Group is not exist? Oh, you are opening yeah. from the uh, uh, yeah. laptop, right? Yes, uh, no, no, mobile. Sir. Oh, mobile. Uh, okay, yes. then in that case, can you please put uh, your, mo I mean, your mobile number and your email ID? Uh, okay, sir. Okay, so please, see if the group is not working, can you all please put your uh, uh, mobile number and uh, email ID so that I can try to share these documents or any important stuff and all with you guys, okay? Yeah, if Perfect. possible, then uh, I'll share the recording of this meeting, sir. Sorry? Yeah, I'm saying that uh, if possible, then please share the recording too. Sure, sure. Anyway, I'm going to upload to my YouTube channel. Uh, yes. I will upload there. You can get it from there. No issues. Okay, thank you. Okay, so perfect. Uh, let me go ahead with the advanced stuff part. What is the major difference between other tools and here? Uh, very simple. So in the... You can terminal come here and you can open new terminal. So this is the window you are going to get it. And everything is in the command base here. You want to open a test runner, a very simple. First, you need to open a Cypress. So far, I haven't shown you anything related to Cypress. Now I'm going to show you the Cypress part. Come here and see here. So this is the command to open Cypress. Okay. Um, if once NPX Cypress run, you are going to run. Now Cypress window is going to open. Um, Okay, from there, actually, the Cypress advanced stuff is going to start. Okay, see, it is going to start uh, listening on so and so port, and it is going to open one window for us where you can see the Cypress uh, related stuff, which browser you want to run, and all. As I told you, it is not supporting all the browsers now. So it is go what I have given command. Oh, shit. I have given run command here. Uh, I need to give open command actually. Okay, that's fine. Let me open new terminal. Okay, I need to give what? Open command, npx cypress open. It is going to open uh, cypress for us. So this is the Cypress window, usually you can see here. We can call it as a, yeah, this is the Cypress window, okay? So uh, from the uh, uh, Visual Studio, I executed the NPX Cypress open. It is going to open this window, okay? Now you need to select here. Two different options will be there, like E2E testing or component testing, okay? 
so end to end you want to do it or particular component you want to do it that you can uh, um, select any one of the option here i'm selecting end to end testing so then it is going to stop whatever is required and it is going to show us now browsers are there available with the cypress see these are all the four browsers as i told you right so chrome edge and electron is the internal browser of the cypress okay and uh, we won't get any other place uh, electron this is the uh, developed uh, by the cypress okay and firefox these are all the browsers currently it is supporting other safari browser and other browsers and all currently it is not supporting okay you want to run for example your scripts on chrome or you want to run edge you can select and start e2e -E testing in edge that's it or you want to run in chrome or electron is the internal browser actually it will run in headless mode or firefox you want to run so for now i'm going with the uh, chrome you no need to have headache in how we have in selenium like updating all the drivers and all that we no need to worry about automatically cypress will take care of it okay fine i want to run it on chrome start here you testing in chrome it is going to open now test runner for us okay so this is the runner it is going to open where you can see whatever the tests are there here in cypress um folder in e2e whatever the um js files are there uh whatever the test scripts are there here everything you can able to see in your runner file see everything you see spec means each spec is a one test case you can see here cy.js these are all the different specs available in our visual studio code it's all now synced to test runner okay so how we open from the uh here we opened it see now it is all disabled because once you close this runner then again it is going to become enabled at a time you can run only once okay fine or you want to run parallelly there is a different ways are there from continuous integration um yeah cacd you can use to run parallelly also that is fine but from the runner at a time you can open only one see here also you want to see um your existing runs or previous runs you want to see this is the test runner only dashboard i'm going to see in, uh, show you now how it will show in the dashboard and all um dashboard also dedicated to cypress only uh fine you can see here these are all the specs i want to run only individually this particular test case just click on it the execution is going to start see here see the right side pane you can see how the scripts it is executing on the chrome browser see here chrome is selected see these are all the different validations are there see how it is happening all the validations right side you can observe carefully here it is entering the data or it is clicking on see how fast it is doing how fast it is doing because it is working on inside of the browser not outside okay so that is the advantage that is see you can see all the scripts are passed in this test case fine okay it executed on which browser chrome browser if you want to change it you can change it to other browser also there. okay if you can do here the edge you can select it and again run it it is going to run on edge browser or electron or firefox okay so that is how it will be there fine now the action test case is executed but i want to come to the runs now just now we executed uh, one run right but you want to see these you want to see these results whatever we are executing in the dashboard then you need to run this command from the uh, visual studio okay you need to run this command npx cypress run is for running your tests this record is for recording into the cypress cloud okay and this key is the security key okay i'm going to show you this key also where you can get it and all so uh, recording runs to cypress cloud see here copy the command below to record your first run so this is the command you need to copy now how the things are going to happen please observe carefully so the settings and all yeah you can set different options over here that's fine so you can see uh, these are all the different things and all if you want you can create new spec also from here 
you can add code also from uh, in the runner also then automatically it will sync with the visual studio okay so these are all the operations you can do it here uh, but now i want to run from the visual studio please carefully understand here now let me open new terminal i'm going to run this command and carefully observe how the results are going to store i'm running this command just now i copied from here okay just now i copied from here in the runs uh, this command i copied this is for recording your results into the cypress cloud okay cypress run record and this is the key uh, just run it now it is going to run each and every test case it may take uh, um, four or five minutes but in meanwhile i will explain you the uh, cloud part okay i'm running these scripts now you can observe carefully in the runs okay so automatically it is going to update with your runs here here the runs it need to update say any error is there here uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, no error is there. It is running. Okay. So, yes. Now, see careful user here. Just now it is updated. You run your command Visual Studio, and automatically it is um, syncing to the your runner, and it is updating. See now, click on here. What is going to happen? You can see what are all executed, and, and also you can other. Carefully here, one more window opened here. This is cloud, Cypress Cloud. When you execute this command, uh, Cypress run record command, automatically the Cypress Cloud is also going to open. But if you first time you are doing, you need to register with your email ID. Okay, I already registered with my email ID. It will ask you to log in to your email or uh, any email ID. And that is you can understand. Okay, fine. So, uh, it, it, just now it started, not yet any test cases executed. Uh, you can see pass count here, fail count here. Uh, it is still renewing. I told you it will take some time because we are having almost uh, more than 100 test cases. It will take some time. We will let you the Cypress uh, Cloud. I can call also call it as a Cypress Dashboard. Here, you can able to see, see here testing currently going on it means that test cases are running so far how many specs are there 20 are there okay error zero test results 14 came so far everything you can able to see here see 19 specs are queued one spec means one test case or one spec may have multiple test cases also okay so i can say one js file is a one spec guys you can assume that fine so you, you can see here guys let me show you the advanced stuff what are all the once it is completed then remaining i will show you uh, coming to the project settings very very important in the dashboard you can see here uh, like these are all the general settings what we have as everybody can able to see uh, can able to uh, hear me yes, yes, okay perfect thank you thank you sure so you can see in the project settings you can able to see here this is the general part project name and uh, this is the project id guys okay this is the project id which i told you right in the package.json uh, I, I i mean in the cypress config i updated here project id okay you want to integrate with dashboard you need to get this id from there and update here okay this is the one you need to do it perfect so the, here it is going to display every project one ID will be there. And access, you want to make it access public or private. And this is the recording key, guys. OK, so this is the key I have given it in our Cypress. You can see here, this is the same key I have given in our in this command. OK, same key. You can create multiple keys also. That is not a problem. But can you observe here, as I told you in the very beginning, Cypress is a open source, but dashboard is not a open source. See, you want to use spec prioritization. What need to execute first? What need to execute next? That you cannot do with open source. That you need to upgrade your plan. Or auto cancellation. You want to 
uh, auto cancellation and all means you want to cancel automatically your business plan and all again you need to upgrade your plan okay so and also parallelization you want to run yes you can mention here how many seconds you want to and all github integration we no need business plan i integrated already i told you right i already pushed my changes uh, what is the advantage of see i pushed all my changes from the visual code it is synced to here okay so when there is a, how many of you idea on um, um, uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment guys out of you all anybody having any idea on continuous integration and continuous deployment like how jenkins will work anybody oh, yes sir i think it's for parallel uh, execution in dev test environment uitv for not, that not only yeah not mm -hmm. only that when there is a commit into a github automatically jenkins will uh, uh, enable the trigger and it will execute our scripts do you know that no sir no sir regarding github i i have yeah so in, in jenkins one more feature will be there trigger automatically so when there is a change in your github automatically jenkins will realize that change and it will trigger automatically your test case execution will be started same feature okay we can have with cypress also okay fine and you can go here see gitlab integration you can do it or you want to merge requests you want to do it or you can do it or enterprise integration but for this we need plan or bit bucket integration yes you can do that slack integration yes uh, you can do that even teams integration also you can do to your uh, um so uh, and also teams integration and slack integration all these for the what are the results you are getting that reports will be directly sent to your teams or those reports directly sent to your slack okay so that is how you can integrate all of these and all or you want to remove your project you can do that but from here Okay, so some of the features and all, as I told you, like not open source, some of the things we need to upgrade our plan to business plan. Okay, perfect. So you need to know all these things before you want to configure anything in your company. Also, you want to configure any project uh, by using Cypress. These things really helps you how you can integrate and all. If, if some your client is asked you to uh, integrate with, uh, uh, for example, GitLab, so GitLab is doesn't have any uh, open source. Then you can raise a question uh, to your client that uh, you need a uh, premium plan or licensed one. Okay. So these things you should be in the position to update to your client. Perfect. Or transfer your ownership. You want to transfer your ownership from one organization to one member to other member and all. You can do that. Perfect. Okay. So these things really helps us. Uh, I'm coming to the here latest runs. Let me show you how it is storing um, uh, recordings and uh, images and all. See, this is what currently running. This is previously executed. See here, one or three pass and 11 are failed. Okay. As I told you, screenshots, it will capture only for the failures one, but recordings will be there for each and every test case. Okay, fine. I opened all the past ones. Test results you can see here. This is the past test cases. You can filter out here also. Okay. If you want only negative, then uh, failed ones, then you can filter here. Then failures will be displayed. Now, fail and pass, yes, you can filter. Okay, let me open pass once now. Let me click on here. You can see uh, screenshots button is disabled since this test case is passed. But you can watch this video, how this script execution is happened and all. This is the main important feature with this Cypress. Okay, you can see carefully here how the scripts are executing. All the scripts. Can you able to see the recording, guys? So how the scripts are executing? So based on this, the product <laughs> management and all, everybody, yeah. The product management easily understand how the application, how the scripts are running, whether is there any delay or performance of the applications, everything they can analyze by using this video. If you are running in your local machine, there in for example, in other tools, you have to write explicitly so much code to record this. But whereas with the Cypress, you don't need to write any additional code. Automatically, this all will get um, recorded. Okay. So, and coming to the here also, you can see screenshots is disabled because, and also you can see different uh, details here. You, you, it run on Electron, and uh, this is the operating system we are running. Failure rate and performance also you can see here. So, all these different parameters uh, really helps uh, to the business. Similarly, you can open any failed ones 
uncheck past and open any failed ones and carefully understand here. So see, now this one is a fail. Okay. You can find out now screenshot. See, for the failed one, screenshot is available, right? So you click on screenshots, you can able to see where exactly it is failing. Leave about these applications, what I have used and all. These are all the sample example sites in the Cypress I have used. But don't focus much on the what is the value handle, but I'm trying to help you on how it is taking these screenshots. You also you can you can watch your video here also. Okay. So this is the main advantage of the Cypress. Main advantage of the Cypress dashboard. Okay. How we store in the uh, uh, screenshots and uh, video how it is recording. You can you, you even you can see here what code uh, you have in that test case whatever you are having in that test case every year everybody will understand whether the fail is because of the script or because of the functionality easily everybody can understand okay but whereas with other tools you need to tell to your owner i mean uh, your scrum master or your product owner what is the issue and why it is failing you need to tell but whereas with the cypress it is more transparency. Everybody can see what is the failure and why it is failing. What is the reason for it? Okay, so that is the main yeah, that is the main advantage with this Cypress part. Okay, this uh, um, uh, recording images and all. So apart from that, you can see what specs you executed here uh, and um, how many test cases are there in each spec and how much time it took. And um, this output also you can see here, and you can see the video also. Okay, so complete all the test cases you can able to see here. This is the failed ones. You can also see the screenshots option. See, this is uh, sorry guys, give me a minute. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, and uh, coming to the here, you, you can you can see here, like as I told you, it is a dashboard where you can see a complete analysis, this test case, and how many test cases are passing. For example, in this spec, you can see one is passing, one is failing. Yeah, anywhere you can see the fail, it is there. The corresponding screenshots you can able to find. But each and every test case, there is a recording. Okay, so this is how the management side everybody will understand. And coming to the errors, yes, you can figure it out what errors are there in this complete run, what are all the different errors and all. So whereas coming to the Selenium and all, we used to uh, develop the code for generating the HTML reports or uh, we have to integrate with extent report or Allure reports and all, but as you, know, you don't need to integrate any other reports, automatically it will generate the reports by using dashboard. Okay, and also uh, it is not my local, URL, it is the cloud Cypress URL, it is uh, uh, Cypress URL only, where, where from anywhere I can enter my username and my password, I can see myself. But if it is a open source, it is limited to five members, but more than five members in your project, you want to see these results, but you need to go for upgrade your plan. Okay, so that is also is there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I want to cover these things, guys. Uh, because I want to help other people as well, because it is a new tool, latest tool, uh, which we had, we have started using this tool, but day by day it is um, uh, popularity is increasing for this tool because of the features. Because management side, everybody wants to see the results. Unless until you are sharing, we may, for example, we are sharing HTML results, how they will believe us. We may manipulate our results also. They may think, right, from the management side. So, yeah, if this is the case, then there is no manipulations, nothing and all. They can directly see our results. So that is what they are thinking. That is the reason they are trying to move to the these kind of tools even going forward also. A lot of scope will be there um, for the testers. If at all, we learn uh, new tools and all, okay? So that is what my overall idea. So I want to give some knowledge on the latest tool uh, to our folks so that um, they will be in good shape at least See, if we are not upgrading our skills, guys, one more session to all of you. 
if you are not upgrading there is no way to survive in the software industry i believe or not day by day the new tools are coming okay we have to upgrade there is no other option if you are not upgrading you can see um anywhere not only the software anywhere. if you are not upgrading things um then see, we are not going to be there longer in that field that is how it will be there okay right guys so that's all from my end any other questions anything from your side guys so any other questions from anyone because uh, okay uh, uh, from our uh, company and all guys we used to provide the online trainings and any uh, technical solutions and all i used to do it from our company okay um, not only the cypress or any other tool or you can come up with any tool our company can provide the trainings on that uh, if you know any one and all please refer uh, i mean please try to subscribe to our channel it is chris software solutions anyway i'm going to ping you to your email and whatsapp number okay this is what our website is online testing help.com please try to refer that okay so any other questions before uh, wrapping it off our session actually i plan for one hour so we have crossed almost 10 minutes um yeah so i thought i have given you complete knowledge on the tool now it is your time to start practice on it guys okay uh, uh, hello sir Hi. yeah yeah so, uh, can you please let uh, let us know that uh, which tool is uh, better in the market like for database testing database testing means it is consists of so many things right what exactly you want you want to move data from one database to other database kind of thing or you want only the validation from front end to back end uh no i'm asking about uh, actually uh, i am i'm also not aware about the database test testing actually uh, i have i had one um, interview as uh, scheduled actually regarding the database testing and api testing and uh, that's why, that's why i i was ask, I mean, asking i am asking uh, to you that uh, can you please let us know that about which tool is means uh, better or like uh, what kind of database testing uh, we can do in the uh, testing yeah, see usually database testing means commonly any application is having database as a backend okay, okay. where okay. whatever the data you are entering in the front end it is going to store it into a database whatever it is <laughs> like oracle or sql server okay. or postgres anything okay mm -hmm. so you need to compare what data you entered in front end with the database what data it is stored so that kind of testing and all we no need of separate framework for it if you at all you want to go with selenium java java is capable to do database validations and all or you want to go with selenium python selenium for front end or database you can uh, manage with uh, whatever the language you are going with like java or c sharp or python any language is having capable to get the data from the database then you can compare with the front end to back end and you can validate if it's same data is storing then you can make the test cases pass or else you can make the test cases fail okay 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 i'll just yeah. thank you for your clarification sure guys did you share all your data here in the comments or you have added to the group please try to add it guys so that i will share whatever the information you needed or uh, anytime you can always contact us so that we'll be in the position to serve you guys. Guys, everyone is added. Any other questions from anyone before wrapping it up for today? Pallavi, Suganya, any other questions, madam, from anyone? Last two, one, two minutes. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So everybody is added to the WhatsApp group, guys. Suganya, do you have added? Rohit or Kaushal, Pallavi. Yeah, yeah, we are in. Perfect. So I'm going to share whatever the document I showed you or any documentation related stuff. I'm going to put it into the same group. You can refer from there. Even I will be there in the same group. You can ask any questions you want. Okay. Thank you so yes. much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Okay. Thanks for Thank your you, time. Thank Happy you. weekend Thank to you, everyone. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Happy weekend and happy class. Vegan love the other. Well, see you now. Climb.